Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Zephaniah 3, Haggai 1 to 2, Proverbs 7 and Psalm 13. Let's get started. Woe to her who is rebellious and defiled, the oppressing city. She listens to no voice. She accepts no correction. She does not trust in the Lord. She does not draw near to her God. Her officials within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves that leave nothing till the morning. Her prophets are fickle, treacherous men. Her priests profane what is holy. They do violence to the law. The law within her is righteous. He does no justice. Every morning he shows forth his justice. Each dawn he does not fail. But the unjust knows no shame. I have cut off nations. Their battlements are in ruins. I have laid waste their streets so that no one walks in them. Their cities have been made desolate. They are without a man, without an inhabitant. I said, Surely you will fear me. You will set corruption. Then your dwelling would not be cut off, according to all that I have appointed against you. And all the more they are eager to make their deeds corrupt. And therefore, wait for me, declares the Lord, and all the days that when I rise up to seize the prey, and my decision is to gather nations, to assemble kingdoms, to pour upon, pour out upon them my indignation, all my burning anger, for in the fire of my jealousy, all the earth shall be consumed, for at the time I will change the speech of the people for, to a pure speech. And uh, all of them may call upon the name of the Lord, and serve them with one accord. From the, beyond the rivers of Gash, my worshippers, the daughter of my dispersed one, shall bring my offering. On that day you shall not be put to shame, because the deeds by which you have rebelled against me. But then I will remove you from your midst, and you are proudly exalted once. You shall, and you shall no longer be haughty in my holy mountain. And I will leave in your midst a people humbly, humble and lowly. They shall seek refuge in the name of the Lord, those who are left in Israel. And they shall do no justice and seek no advice, nor shall there be found in their mouth a deceitful tongue. They sh for they shall graze and lie there, and none shall make them afraid. And you sing aloud, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, who rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your judgments uh, against you. He has cleared away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall never again be at ease. On that day it shall be paid to, said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, let not your hands grow weak. <clears throat> the Lord your God is in your midst, the mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. I will he will exalt over you with loud singing. So I will gather those <clears throat> of you who mourn for the festival, uh, so that you will no longer suffer reproach. Behold, at that time I will deal with all your oppressors, and I will save the lame and gather the outcasts, and I will change their shame into praise, and renown them all the earth. Uh, at that time I will bring you, at the time when I gather you together, well, I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth, and I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. Haggai 1-2 the, it's In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, on the day of the month, first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet to Zerubbabel the son of Sheltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Jehozadak. The high priest, thus says the Lord of Christ, these people say the time has not yet come <clears throat> to rebuild the house of the Lord. Then the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet. Is it a time for you yourselves to join your paneled houses? <clears throat> paneled houses, while this house lies in ruins? Now, therefore, thus says the Lord of Christ, consider your ways. You have never, you have never had your You've sown much and harvested little. You eat, but you never have enough. You drink, but you never have your fill. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages does so to put them into a bag with holes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Go up to the hills and bring wood and build the house, that I may take pleasure in it, and that I may be glorified, says the Lord. You look for much, and behold, it came to little. And when he brought it home, it, I blew it away. I declares the Lord of hosts, because of my house that lies in ruins, while each of you busies himself with his own house. Therefore the heavens above you have withdrew, withheld the dew, and the earth has withheld its produce. And I have called for a drought on the land and the other hills. On the grain, the new wine, the oil, and on what the ground brings forth, on man and beast, and on all their labors. Then Zerubbabel, the son of Shelchiel, and Joshua, the son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of the Lord their God, and feared the Lord. Then Haggai, the messenger of the Lord, spoke to the people with the Lord's message. I am with you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord stirred up the spirit of Jehoshaphat, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. 
And they came and worked on the house of the Lord of hosts, their God, on the twenty-fourth day of the month, in the sixth month, in the second year of Darius the king. In the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet, speaking out to Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua the son of Jehozadak, a high priest, and to all the remnant of the people, and say, Who was left among you who saw this house in its former glory? How do you see it now? Is it not as nothing? And in your eyes, yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, declares the Lord. Be strong, O Joshua, son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest. Be strong, all you people of the land, declares the Lord. Work, for I am with you, declares the Lord of hosts. According to the covenant that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit remains in your midst. Fear not, for thus says the Lord of hosts, yet once more in a little while I'll shake the nations in. Hey, shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I'll shake all nations so that the treasures of all mm, nations shall come in. And I'll fill this half with glory, says the Lord of hosts. And I'll, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord of hosts. And the latter glory of the house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, declares the Lord of hosts. On the twenty fourth day of the ninth month, mm, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Master the prophet, the priests about the Lord, if someone carries holy meat in the fold of his garment and touches with his fold bread or steel or wine or oil or any kind of food, does it become holy? Then the priest answered and said, No. Then Haggai said, If someone who is unclean by <clears throat> unclean by contact with a dead body touches in your face, does it become unclean? The priest answered and said, It does become unclean. Then had I answered and said, So is it with the, with this people and with this nation before me, declares the Lord. And so with every work of their hands. And what they offer there is unclean. Now then, consider from this day on me. Once before stone was placed upon stone in the temple of the Lord, how did you fare? When one came to a heap of twenty measures, there were but ten. When one came to the wine where I had to draw fifty measures, there were but twenty. I struck you and all the products of your toil with blight and with mildew and with hail. Yet you did not turn to me, declares the Lord. Now, consider from this day onward, from the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, since the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider, in, is the seed yet in the barn? Indeed, the wine, the fig tree, the pomegranate, and the olive tree have yielded nothing. But from this day on, I will bless you. The word of the Lord came a second time to Haggai on the twenty-fourth day of the month. See to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I am about to shake the heavens and the earth, and to overthrow the throne of kingdoms. I am about to destroy the strength of the kingdoms and the nations, and overthrow the chariots and their riders. And the horses and their riders shall go down, everyone by the sword of his brother. Brother, on that day, declares the Lord of hosts, I will make you, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shealtiel, declares the Lord, and make you like a signet ring, for I have chosen you, declares the Lord of hosts. Proverbs 7. My son, keep my words and treasure on my commandments with you. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teaching with the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call inside your intimate friend. To keep you from the forbidden room and from the adulterous with the smooth blood. For at the window of my house, I have looked out through, the, through my lattice, and I have seen among the simple, I have perceived among the youths, a young man lacking sense, passing along the street near her corner, taking the road to her house in the twilight and the evening, at the time of night and darkness. And behold, the woman meets her, dressed as a prostitute, willy of heart. She is loud and wayward. Her feet do not stay at home. Now in the street, now in the mark, and at every corner she lies on way. She seizes him and kisses him. And with bold face she says to him, I had to offer sacrifice, and today I have paid my vows. So now I have come out to meet you, to seek you eagerly, and I have found you. I spread my couch with coverings, covered, covered linens from... Egyptian land. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's take our fill of love to more. Let us delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took a bag full of money with him. At full moon, he will come home. With much seductive speech, she persuades him. And with her smooth talk, she compels him. All at once, he follows her, as an ox goes to the slaughter, or as a stag caught the far, is caught fast until an arrow pierces its liver. As a bird rushes into a snare, he does not know that it will cost him his life. And now, O sons, listen to me, and be attentive to the words of my mouth. 
Let you let not your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her path. For many a victim has she laid low, and all her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is the way to show, going down to the chambers of death. Psalm 13. How long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your faith from me? How long must I take my cancer in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O oh Lord my God. Can light on my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed over him. Lest my foes rejoice because I am treated. For I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because you have dealt bountifully with me. Now that's done, I can now do the Lord's prayer. Please bow your hands. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as you mercy forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.